So today, as we work together, we want to think about making sure that we let people finish their thought before we start trying to talk. That's the thing that we're working on as, as we talk together as a group, okay? We have to back up. Yeah, so we're just going to make sure that we're letting <laughs> other people finish their thought before yes, we start to talk. Up. You did, thank you. And you know what we're going to do today, too? You know how yesterday when, um, Santi, you said that you were confused about that jaguar and how he used his tail to help him get food. Remember you helped us and we had to all think and think and think some more together? And but I didn't get a turn out Well, time. and one of the things that happened that was very interesting because sometimes when, when a, a book tells us something, we can't picture it in our mind, we can't visualize it. And you guys were using other words to help explain it. And then, Christine, you did a very interesting thing. Remember how when you were saying it's like, here's the water and here's the tail, and you were, you, you were starting to explain it that way? Sometimes when you do motions like that, that helps someone to get it into their heads. Mm -hmm. So what I was thinking today, let's all try that. Okay. Let's do this when we read our book today, yeah. okay? This will be fun. Now, the other thing we talked about yesterday, do you remember the index? back here at the back of our book. Oh, yeah. Remember uh -huh. the index back here? And uh -huh. this lists all the different animals that are in the book. I yeah, know something about page. that. Talk to us. What do you know? I think there's, I think that's the number of animals there are. You um, think? It listed them all? That's pretty helpful, And that's isn't it? the page that they're on. And there's the page that they're on. Why do you think they put the picture right here? So you know, but not the, so you, so you know, so you know the picture, so you can recognize the name and the picture. How helpful that author was, huh? Which that's is your animal? Kilo L. And which page will you Six. go to? Yay. Which animal? Jaguar. Oh, so you're going to read and think about the jaguar. What page will you turn to for this your jaguar? This animal Ten. has a tail. And what about for you, Christine? Skin. Hold on. Wait. Okay. We're going to have a special way so we're going to read them. Snake. One you're the one. snake. What page will you go to? Uh, 12. Look at that helpful jaguar. index. Jaguar. And what page? 10. All right. So turn over to your animal. Yes. We've used our index to help us find it. When you look at the scorpion's tail, see how they put the little extra picture here of the tail? Mm -hmm. Right here on the page eight? Mm -hmm. How does the shape of the scorpion's tail help it to be able to catch its, it's insects. It's yeah, because it's, it's a great shape it's, because when the bug <laughs> like the bug goes like that, it's a great shape because when it, the bug doesn't see a set, you know, a, like a spike and doesn't know a bite or it is cross, the scorpion just uses this and stink to make goes just like the cork. I know, I know. Talk to I us. How can this can reach the insect? Talk to us. Tell us how that works. But I don't know, like, how can I, like, I don't know if like they actually like like, mm -hmm. like get it to sleep right here or like with the claws or um, I, I think, I know, I think it turns around and then steams it and then turns back around and then eats it. Oh, what are you thinking, Jocelyn? How does that scorpion's tail, how does the shape of it or how it looks help it? Yeah, it's got that stinger. What are you thinking, Aiden? I know how it uses this claws phrase. I read it from here. Mm -hmm. It says it uses claws insects. So it uses the claws and it catches the then insect. It, then it stings first, and I notice the third part that's venom from the snake. Then it comes back. Then it stings. Then it stings somewhere, like in a body, so so it's so it's passed out, so it can eat it. You used your index to help you find the whale page. Indexes can help you find things really quickly in the book. Now, here's what you're going I to do. Find it yet. We're going to read the whale page to our partners. Now, wait. Here's what I want you to do, Corbin. Here's what I want you to do when your partner's reading. I want you to be listening for when they pause at the and stop their voice at the period. And when you're reading, make sure that you are thinking about 
what you're noticing about this whale's tail that helps uh -huh. him to be able to use his tail to catch food. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay. Partners, read to your partner. Listen in for the period. Whales have long tails. 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 These whales have long tails. 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 One of the things that's really important when you're reading is making sure that you're noticing the periods and the punctuation in the book. That helps you to know when an idea finishes and another one's starting, the sentences. The sentences are have ideas in them. And so we want to notice when an author puts that period there and that tells our voice that it needs to stop and pause. You did a nice job it's with reading and thinking cricket. about that.